Got another question for the Synoptic Questions playlist. So we've hit number 20 now. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So obviously it's a calorimetry question. We're going to calculate at first the amount of energy that's been put into the water from the burning of the propane from the burner. And then we're just going to scale it up to kilojoules per mole to get enthalpy change of combustion. So first thing we do is calculate the energy going into the water from the combustion of the propane. So Q equals MC delta T. 100 cm cubed of water was used. So we're assuming that that's going to be 100 grams. Um, C, 4.18 for water, and the temperature change is the difference between the uh, maximum temperature reached and the initial temperature. So that comes out at 10,241 joules, which is 10.241 kilojoules. Next thing we do is work out the moles of propane that's been burned. So mass comes out at 0.242. That's the difference between those two mass readings. Divided by the MR of propane, which is 44, gives us this many moles. So the enthalpy change of combustion, the kilojoules divided by the moles, minus exothermic reaction, temperature of the water went up. 1862 is the calculated value, but we've just got to be careful here. It wants the answer to three significant figures. So obviously that goes to minus 1860 kilojoules per mole. Moving on to the next part of the question, suggest two of the reasons for the difference in the enthalpy change from the student's experimental value compared to the database value. I've gone for these two, heat loss to the surroundings and the incomplete combustion of the propane. And I guess another one you could have gone for would be the evaporation of water from the beaker. So moving on to part B now, so we'll just run through the method to tackle this question and then we'll do it. So we've got to calculate the standard enthalpy change of combustion for propane using the enthalpy change for this reaction and we've got to factor in this information here. So the first thing we're going to do is do what it says up here. We're going to use the bond enthalpies to calculate the enthalpy change for 3.1. We need to have a realisation that the standard enthalpy change of combustion of propane includes H2O liquid and not gaseous H2O, which is what we've got in this equation. So to do that, we need to factor in the enthalpy change of vaporisation for water, which is obviously given here. So we'll start with the enthalpy change of reaction for 3.1 using those bond enthalpy values. I call this an in minus out calculation. So what we're doing, we're putting energy in to break the bonds in the reactants. So obviously we've got two moles of CC single bonds. So 347 times 2. 8 moles of CH bonds. So we've got that there. 5 moles of OO double bonds. We've got that there. So total amount of energy that has to go in, 6488 kilojoules per mole. Obviously we get energy coming out. Energy is released when bonds are formed in the products. So we've got 6 moles of the CO double bond. So there's two moles of the bond in one mole of CO2. So obviously three times two is six. So we've got six times the 805 and eight times the OH bond enthalpy. So that's a total amount of energy out of 8542 kilojoules per mole. So the enthalpy change of reaction for 3.1 is the energy in minus the energy out. So that comes out at minus 2054 kilojoules per mole. So now we've got to deal with this issue with the fact that we've got gaseous H2O in this equation as opposed to liquid H2O. So we've been told in the question that to go from liquid H2O to gaseous H2O, so to vaporise it in other words, it's plus 40.65 kilojoules per mole. Well, we've got four moles of this in our equation, so obviously we're going to need to multiply that by four. But the problem we've got is Think about this as a continuous process. We're going there. We want to go down to the liquid form of the H2O. So effectively, we need to subtract this, and that will effectively flip the arrow around into the direction we want it to go. So we'll put the numbers in. We've got minus 2054 for this part, but then we're going to subtract four times the enthalpy change of vaporization of H2O. So it's minus 40.65 times four which gives a final answer of minus 2216.6 kilojoules per mole.